Stories from the Quran Surah Al-Fatiha Long, long ago, it was the time around the year of 610, when people of Mecca did not follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's law. The house of Kaaba was filled with 360 different idols. From different countries, people came to the Kaaba to worship those idols. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose Muhammad peace be upon him as the last and final prophet to guide the whole world. Surah Fatiha was the first complete surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to his final messenger. The meaning of Surah Fatiha is the opening. So, this is the opening of the Qur'an. Surah Fatiha also summarized the whole entire Qur'an. So, it is called the mother of the Qur'an. This surah also has many other names. But this surah looks like a dua. Yes, that's right. Surah Fatiha is a very beautiful dua or prayer. If you want to understand the Qur'an or get benefits from the Qur'an, we should read this dua or prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this surah, we are asking something to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the answer in this whole Qur'an. For an example, in this surah, we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show us the right path. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this Qur'an so we could be on the right path. Did you see? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala divided this surah into two parts. The first part is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this part, we are admiring the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the last part is for us. We are begging help from the one and only God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Did you know this is the best surah than any other book Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent for us from Prophet Adam peace be upon him to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam combined. Even in the Quran, Surah Fatiha is the most powerful surah. Let me tell you a story so you could understand better. One day, Angel Jibrail peace be upon him was with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They heard a loud noise from the sky and saw that one of the doors of the heaven was opened which was never opened before. An angel came from that door to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and gave him good news about two special lights. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave those lights to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa as a gift which no other prophet got before. One of those lights was Surah Fatiha and the other light was the last three sentences of Surah Al-Baqarah. As a Muslim, we are really lucky to have those special lights. Now, let me tell you another story about the power of Surah Fatiha. Once a group of Sahaba were in a journey. A female servant came to them and said that the leader of the area became very sick because he was poisoned. She was asking help from the Sahabas. One Sahaba went to the leader and recited Surah Fatiha. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessing, the leader's health improved. The chief was so happy that he gave 30 sheep and lots of milk to the Sahabas. Do you see how powerful this Surah is? That is why in every prayer we read Surah Fatiha. Without this surah, no prayer is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In prayer, when we read each sentence from Surah Fatiha, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replies to us from each sentence that we recite. That is why in prayer, we should read this surah very slowly. Stories from the Quran Fun facts about Surah Al-Fatiha Number 1. Surah Fatiha was the first complete surah of the Quran. Number 2. Surah Fatiha is the best dua. Number 3. This is the best surah 
from Adam, peace be upon him, to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam combined. Number four, this surah is a special light from the heaven. Number five, without this surah, prayer is not accepted. And finally, number six, Allah subhanahu wa taala replies for every sentence of this surah that we recite. Our goal is to make all of these resources available for free to anybody, anywhere. And we can do that because of your support. We are a non-profit organization. And in our website, you can help us by giving us a one-time donation or becoming a monthly supporter of the whole thing. 